Everybody, take a look at your screen. We are following some breaking news right now. Chopper 7 is giving us a look. Uh, that is a live picture you're looking at. This is a very large fire. Uh, it is happening on the Tri-State Tollway. This is in Willow Springs. Uh, the vehicle involved appears to be a truck. Uh, that carries vehicles, but you can tell how intense those flames are. Obviously, all of those lanes right there now shut down. Again, this is happening, I believe, on northbound yeah. I-294. Chopper 7 saying this is northbound uh, on the Tri-State, and you can see that. It looks like a pickup truck uh, flipped on its side there, uh, and state police do look to be on the scene, but this is happening. I mean, this just happened, because look, you see a couple other uh, the fire departments not even there yet. So you see Illinois State Police, and now it looks like one lane uh, is working on the right there and we're going to get some crews that will will show up here momentarily just a few Illinois State troopers and then at least one uh, a fire truck SUV but that's a that's burning good oh, okay so we're getting a little more information into our newsroom that maybe that pickup truck fell off, off the trail. trailer hard even to tell what that thing was but it, we believe it was a truck carrier there have been so we're getting these reports as we speak right now. Our producer is telling us that we're hearing that there have been several explosions, which you can imagine uh, obviously can happen in a fire of this intensity. Again, this is happening on the northbound lanes of I-294. We're talking 440 in the afternoon. We're heavy in the afternoon rush. Um, all of those lanes right now, of course, closed. Again, this is by Willow Springs, uh, which that that section is probably just south of I-55 uh, at that that area completely shut down in that going northbound. You can see the cars still continuing on the other side going southbound. Although I imagine with that that danger of explosions, if they'll could they'll begin to shut down some of those lanes as well. Um, emergency vehicles are just now showing up on the scene. Chopper 7 widening out a little bit so you can get a vantage point of this uh, wider area that we're talking about. Well, I, so there you see it's elevated, right? So this is going over the river. i will try and find out which river this is exactly, but this is clearly on a bridge uh, of the Tri-State, and now they've got traffic stopped. So we saw one lane on the northbound uh, Tri-State here moving. Now it looks like police have completely stopped the northbound lane there as they try to get this fire under control, but the fire department still not arriving because this just happened a minute ago. You see southbound is moving. That's going to slow down, though. You get those gapers delays. They're already crawling there. Yeah. But this thing's burning. You could see it looked like some of the wheels and tires burning from that truck carrier. So it appeared that this was, oh, here we go. So we'll turn this on. It'll give you a, a great idea. SkyMap 7 is terrific for you to see exactly where we are. But it looked like, Judy, that the carrier, that truck also on its side because you could see those rims burning. You can barely make out the images under that uh, fire and that very, very thick black smoke. Now we're being told that that smoke could be seen for miles uh, in that area. So if you're just watching in, coming in and tuning in and perhaps you're somewhere in the nearby vicinity and wondering what all that black smoke is, uh, perhaps in your neighborhood, this is what you're looking at, a crash on the on I-294 going northbound by Willow Springs here this afternoon. Right now, again, all lanes going northbound shut down. Emergency vehicles were just getting on the scene. Oh, there they are. As we brought you this picture live from Chopper 7, and you're looking at the SkyMap 7 showing you the exact location. All right, good. So the first fire truck is here. Uh, Chopper 7, by the way, was just, we have it in the air all afternoon to get various shots for us. Cover breaking news was just flying over this when it saw that black smoke, and now that fire is burning. The first fire truck is there. Uh, we're not being told of anyone uh, being hurt just yet. We've got to gather that information. We do believe that that pickup truck on the back there, or off just the, behind the fire, was perhaps on that carrier and it came off before uh, this caught fire. But it's it's odd that this, this would be burning light. I don't know what caused the, uh, yeah. the ignited the fire uh, to cause it. it Do looks we like have any information in the booth at all? If this is just that one trailer involved, can we make it out if there are other vehicles involved? It's hard to see, yeah. We, we don't think any more vehicles. Okay. And, and if you're listening to us, uh, Chopper 7, and you could pull out, I know we want to watch them so that they fight the fire, just to get an idea of where you are. Thank you. And you can look at the top of your screen as we use SkyMap 7 here. Uh, you get a good idea of where exactly this is. It kind of pinpoints this is over, uh, this is on an overpass, and you see the water below. 
Um, but traffic moving on one side, uh, but you see it is not moving there. They've now stopped traffic as the first fire truck has arrived, and state police look like they were the first to arrive here as well. Look at that smoke. You can see how far that smoke is traveling. Okay, Larry? It looks like it's the Des Plaines River. And oh, okay, Larry's, uh, can Larry we turn has Larry's? more information. Is yes. Larry's mic on? Can you hear it, Larry, right now? Yeah, we'll have it. Oh. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's where the Des Plaines River and the Chicago Sanitarium Ship Canal come together there. Uh, just outside of Willow Springs, kind of just north of downtown Willow Springs is where this looks like it's occurring. I've got it looking looking on a map and I saw a couple bursts on the radar of the smoke that's see visible it. on the radar. Well, while we've got you, the wind is light today, right? I mean, we can see the yeah. smoke moving, but that, that is, that's likely not contributing to this. No, the winds are about five to 15 miles per hour out of the south, so that's not a huge contributing factor. Obviously, the crews are going to battle this fire and get the smoke and fire out as best they can. The concern obviously is some damage to the structure of the bridge as right, well, which right. will be concerned with that intensity well, it, of the fire. It's funny you mentioned that because out in Los Angeles, remember the 10 dealing with a big overpass was underneath yeah. that and shut that down for weeks. The governor there saying it's going to take three to five weeks to get that under control. But Larry brings up a good point. We don't know if that structure is damaged. It looks like you can see another pickup truck. You see that uh, firefighter with the first hose. Now he's got the first they line on it. Progress on that fire. Yeah, and there's it looks like so this looks like like it was hauling at least two white pickup trucks there. And it, now we get an idea of, of this thing on its side. Uh, and both uh, that truck and the one behind it were burning. And we, before we got on the air with this, there were some reports of some explosions. Too. We are in the process of trying to get some witnesses on the phone uh, with us. So stay with us right here. As soon as we have that information, we'll bring it to you to see if we can get some perspective from somebody either passing by or in the area of uh, what happened here. Again, this is happening on I-294. We just came on the air with this live picture from Chopper 7 approximately maybe five, six minutes ago to bring you this live picture. When we first showed you this picture, uh, emergency vehicles were just getting on the scene. You can tell this is going again, going northbound on I-294 in Willow Springs, right close to LaGrange Road, a very popular stretch of this expressway if you take it. Uh, so traffic going the other side, they're still letting those uh, come by. Our producer in the booth has been uh, feeding us some information that we're getting from, from the scene and emergency officials this afternoon, but there have been several explosions that were heard this afternoon due to that fire. You can tell the intensity of that fire and, and how black and thick that smoke is. You hope that truck driver was able to get out. There were some emergency crews back with state police uh, who were keeping traffic by when we first came on the air here with this just about five, six minutes ago. One lane was open uh, on the far right side. That is now stopped, so some traffic vehicles, is stopped. Vehicles were trying to get through initially. Yeah, I mean, and there was a semi going through all yeah. the way on the shoulder, and it looks like first responders now have stopped traffic. Uh, you definitely want to make sure everyone's safe as that smoke is kind of billowing out uh, past that that um, past that that tanker tra not the tanker the, um, the car carrier uh, now burning here and, and just one line on it right now and there seems like there there he goes he's putting he's fine and you could see the water right there he's right on the edge there and just below this um, it was you said which river is it uh, Larry again it's the Des Plaines River, River thank and you then the uh, Chicago Sanitarium Ship Canal is right next to it in that part of. Uh, that part of the river. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this is right over the uh, ship canal part, not exactly the Des Plaines River. Oh, okay. I had to eyeball it from what I see from Chopper 7 there. Yeah, and you were talking about the structure. Look at you. You can see the concrete wall there is just singed. I mean, there's when, damage yeah. to that. Hopefully they'll get more fire trucks here to help just kind of put this out. Okay. Okay. All right, just getting some new information uh, from Illinois State Police. They believe at this point that the driver of this truck actually made it out alive. Excellent. And if there are any injuries, we're told preliminarily right now that those injuries may be just minor. So that certainly is good news. Huge relief as we watch this fire burn live with you on 294 that state police believe everybody got out of the, the truck or the driver at least. So that's good. All right, we've got a, another fire truck arriving now. We're we're going to get some first responders. It's got to be tough to get through traffic too, because everything's slowed down and now oh, stopped. Yes. And so those trucks have got to get through. You can't fire, fight this from the other side because you saw that gap that goes down to the Des Plaines River. So you got to get there from this one location. There's an ambulance. It looks like that'll be there as a precaution. And the second truck has arrived. But this is a one-sided fire. You can only get this thing from the northbound lanes, uh, and that's probably hampering uh, ability to put it out a little bit. And if you guys happen to know, for those of you watching right now.
now anybody who's driving on the stretch, they may be stuck behind that fire and there's nowhere to go. The cars are right there. It's going to be hard to turn them around. Um, obviously, this will take a little bit of time here to get that fire under control. Yeah, you see a lot of first responders near the Minutemen, which are just terrific from IDOT. It looks like they've arrived now. Everybody's staying back as they try and get this fire put out. A lot of black smoke, but we saw even more flames just a few minutes ago. So this one continuing to burn, but everybody being kept back. The northbound lanes, if you're just joining us, of I-294, a shutdown right here. So uh, that is shut down, but southbound lanes are, are running slow. We watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.